Hey everybody, going to do another video here where we look at some colored vials for a few minutes. I uh, shot a video yesterday where I was talking about the nitrate levels in my office tank that's got my German Blue Ram in it. And a few people suggested that I check my tap water because I might have nitrates in my tap water. Uh, I do have well water and I do treat my well water and I specifically treat it for nitrates, believe it or not. I actually have a ion exchange resin in my water softening system. Now, I know what you're thinking this stuff is. You're thinking this is Purigen. This is not Purigen. This is an old Purigen bottle. And that is the exchange resin that I have in my water softening system. It is specific for nitrates. And I don't remember the details of it, but I know there's two different types of uh, ion exchange resin. There's the kind that will get full and then when it's completely loaded up it dumps and then it just basically dumps all of its junk right back into the water so if you don't catch it before it's full you'll basically flood your system with whatever you've been trying to take out of it and then you've got the kind that like this needs to be stripped clean using sodium ions which is why I put salt in my water softening system it backwashes and sort of restores the uh, ion exchange medium in there so that it never gets full of nitrate and once it gets full of nitrate it is bound it does not dump and release back into my water but it stops pulling any more nitrates out of my water. It just sort of stops working. The water just goes through the system and comes out the other end without really being uh, affected. So I don't remember the last time I put salt in the thing. And, if, you know, if you don't put salt in it, eventually it stops, you know, backwashing once the salt's gone. And so I decided this morning I would have a check to look at my two different uh, waters here. Uh, you can ignore this one. I'll explain that in a minute if you want. Um, that is my tap water. So I do have some nitrates in it, and that's not unusual. I mean, I get a lot of nitrates in my groundwater sometimes, so even with that exchange medium, and I've got uh, that big tank you see right there has about 10 pounds of that exchange medium in it, plus it's got all the other exchange medium, well not exchange medium, but it's got my uh, neutralizing medium and all that kind of stuff in there that gets my pH where I want it, but it's also got about 10 pounds of this stuff in there. Uh, I got the guy that was filling it up to fill my little bottle for me there so I'd have something to mess around with to do experiments or put in my fish tanks or whatever, uh, so that's why I have a little bit extra. But that is nothing compared to how much is actually in that tank. So even when the salt's long gone, it's still doing its thing because that's, you know, less than five parts per million, which again, even when the thing's fully up and running and I've got salt in it, it still lets some through occasionally. This is my groundwater. I've got a way to simply bypass my system altogether and pull water directly out of the ground. Uh, so that is my actual groundwater at the moment and you can clearly see that we've got a big difference between what's coming out of the ground versus what's coming out of my tap so when i did my water change last night you know i was putting that much nitrates back in that does account for some of them and that does also account for why i got a less dramatic uh drop in nitrates than i did uh, during the water change, I expected to be a pretty serious drop, and it was not. And of course, it's you know partially due to the fact that I've got uh, some in my water, but it's also partially due to the fact that I just got a lot of nitrates in my tank. So what this vial is, I will real quickly explain. Uh, over the years, I have messed around with these API um, nitrate tests. I've they've got really really specific directions on how many seconds you're supposed to shake them and how vigorously you're supposed to shake them, and I've experimented with not doing this and doing that and trying this way just to find out how specifically you really need to follow those directions and so today I decided one thing I've never done before I've always wondered if it would ever make a difference if you put the second drops in first and put the first drops in second and that's what I did and there's your comparison test those are both uh, waters that come out of my tap water and this one here was done backwards second drops went in first first drops went in second and that one was the original one I did and this one is also several minutes ahead of that one so if you can notice a slight slightly darker color in the one on the right uh, that's why it is. It's because it's got about a five minute head start. I did uh, this test, I got my camera ready, I started thinking about shooting some video and then as a second thought I 
slap that one together, that secondary one together real quickly. So if there is any difference, uh, there's a time difference, not a uh, procedural difference, I don't think. I'm going to call them the same, so I don't really think it matters which order you put the drops in. At least that's my experience anyway. So there you go. There's a quick little chat about uh, some nitrates. We will talk more about this topic. I know it's one that interests people. It interests me. Um, so we will talk more about it. But there you go. That's a look at what's in my groundwater. And that is a look at what's coming out of my tap. And that is thanks to my uh, system that I have that pulls those nitrates out for me and of course i do need to get some salt and put it in there and if anybody's interested you know leave a comment and i've done it before if you want i can go over how all this stuff works and what it does and it's actually a pretty elaborate system that does a lot of different things up to and including a uh uv sterilizing light so i've got pretty good water once i'm done running it through the gamut of different um you know parts of my system and whatnot so anyway thanks for watching make sure you subscribe you don't want to miss anything i got coming up you never know what it's going to be with me see you real soon in the next one